everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and in today's video we are building in the super cool and spooky world of Forgotten Hollow and we are of course as you can tell from the video description we are building the goths a new house. So um, I decided to just completely build them like a whole new house because you know, I'm a bit of a YouTube fanatic myself, especially when it comes to like Sims content. I love watching like other Simmers. And there's a lot of like goth, you know, family renovations and stuff like that. So people generally take their home in Willow Creek and kind of reconfigure it and everything like that. And you know, that's really cool. I really like that. And I was gonna do that, but then I was like, you know what? I think I wanna offer something up a little bit different. And I decided to, give them like a whole new house, you know, build it all from scratch. And instead of keeping it in Willow Creek, I decided to put them in Forgotten Hollow. And I really like Forgotten Hollow. I honestly, since my Ambiville build that I did, I've never really even built in Forgotten Hollow, but I absolutely love it. It's such a cool world. Like, I wish it was bigger, honestly. It's really, really cool. I really like it here. So I decided to put their home here. And I was also really debating on like, okay, am I gonna use custom content? Am I not gonna use custom content? But I landed on the idea of using it because, well, I love it. <laughs> and also I was really inspired by this comment that I got here from Dizzizz03. <laughs> I don't know if you can even pronounce your username, but I love the comments that you leave on my channel. And I feel like we're kind of simpatico when it comes to our views on custom content. And I was like really encouraged by your comment of being like, use all the CC you want. And I was like, you know what? I will, I will use all the CC I want. And that's what I, that's what I did here. I used all the CC I want. There's really just like two camps when it comes to the Sims community. It's like you're in the camp of like loving custom content, using tons of it, or you're in the camp of like not using it. And I guess I get it if you're like on a, um, on a council, obviously you can't use it, but you know, on a, on a PC, I guess you don't want to use it because you don't want it clogging up your game, which I totally get that too. But you know, I'm going to do both. I'm just going to say that if you're watching this and you're wondering like, what is she? Is she a CC builder or non-CC? I do both. And that's mainly because I like to provide, you know, both. And I like to use both too, but I don't know. Custom content is just so like special. Um, and I will say it is more special, honestly, than in game because in game, it's just, it's not this detailed and it's not really this, um, kind of like realistic yeah like custom content's just way more realistic like it actually looks like real like gothic architecture that you would see in like parts of Europe and stuff like that you know not that I'm an expert on architecture or anything like that and I haven't even been to Europe yet um, I am going next year though but you know regardless I'm just rambling at this point <laughs> So I wanted to use custom content and I wanted to pay an homage to these amazing custom content creators because they are incredible. Felix, Pierre Sim, Harry, um, Charlie Pancakes, Peacemaker, 6am. I mean, there's so many that are just so amazing. So I want to pay honor to them with this build. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to use custom content. If you don't like that, whatever, you know, hopefully you still enjoy watching it, even if you can't download it. But anyway rant over on custom content but and I haven't even been getting any flack about custom content either so I don't know why I'm going on this diatribe but anyway so you can see I'm building out the exterior of this home and I love the way the exterior came out you know I used a lot of the uh, gothic collection from Felix and then I did feature one window in the upper tower I can't remember because I'm watching the footage as I'm doing this voiceover. Oh yeah, I did put that window up there, that big circular one. That is from 6AMS. Um, I think it's for like the love of Gothic, something along those lines is what the collection's called. And it has amazing windows, but I didn't use too many of them. I just used that one circular one because I just want to use the ones from Felix just so all the swatches would match and everything like that. But. On the inside, I do use two collections from 6M. I use his, I think it's like the Wednesday Goth collection. 
And then, yeah, I also use his gothic collection, whatever it's called. I'll have all the details down in the description below, you know, of all the custom content that I used. I'll have it all linked, you know, everything like that. So it'll be, you know, nice and easy for you guys to download. And I do provide direct links that'll take you directly to the CurseForge page. So you can download it from CurseForge because I know that's easy for a lot of people who just want to download it from CurseForge. You know, you don't have to move it into a mods folder. And it also, from what I understand, it helps out the creator too because they actually get like paid, I think like per click or per download or something like that. So yeah, anything I can do to help support these incredible custom content creators is you know, good in my book because I, I just think they're doing God's work. <laughs> I love them. They're just, they're making this game just so much more, you know, dynamic to me, you know, cause yes, Max's content has come a very long way, but the fact of the matter is it's not updated as much as custom content is, you know, custom content. These creators are releasing new packs, like literally every single week or no, I'm sorry, not every single week. Well, maybe some of them are, but it's like every single month at least, you know, you get something new from, you know, from Peary Sim, from Harry, from Felix, from Cluttercat, you know, all these different creators. So it's just more up to date and it's more diverse um, and it's just more realistic looking. So for those of us who like a less kind of like cartoony style, you know, for, you know, your day to day kind of builds, it's it's fantastic for that. But <laughs> I, I feel like I'm about to get on another custom content tangent so I'm just I'm gonna stop <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there and I'm also gonna obviously talk about my other huge influence for doing this home and that was obviously the goth family um so I've said this in other videos but I've been playing the sims since sims 1 um I picked it up from best buy like I was begging my parents to give me the sims when I saw it at best buy like I can still remember looking at the package and reading the description and being like oh my god I have to have this game and I've been pretty much obsessed with it ever since and you know the goth family is just like huge iconic family from the sims 1 like I love the goth family I've I remember playing with them as a kid and you know, Bella, Bella's like an icon, like who doesn't love Bella Goth, who plays the Sim series, who, if you don't like Bella Goth, just, just get out of here, I don't need you here, <laughs> I don't need that kind of toxicity in my, in my life, I'm just kidding, it's fine if you don't like her, but, um, anywho, they're just so iconic, so I really wanted to do just kind of a revamp of their home, and, I was also really inspired to do this because I just found this um, this new machinima creator and I didn't even know what a friggin machinima was <laughs> before I found this creator but his name is uh, Remy um, Marocelli I think is how you say his uh, his name again I don't <laughs> that name sounds Italian to me but I'm pretty sure he's French so I don't know if my pronunciation's good or bad I don't know you know I'm American <laughs> I'm learning um Italian right now but you know I'm, I'm in the beginning stages <laughs> so I don't know how my uh pronunciation is on that but he is incredible he's like literally like the Steven Spielberg of machinimas and if you don't know what a machinima is it's basically just like a little mini movie that you can make from a video game. So you just take like the animations, kind of mash them all up with, you know, an editor and just create like a, like a movie out of them. And I didn't know what they were. And then I just like stumbled upon, I think it was like a YouTube suggestion. I stumbled upon his channel and I watched his um, Bella Goth Reborn series. And I was like, well, what is this? Like, this is incredible. Like, how did he do this with the game? Like, how did he do this with the Sims? Like, I, this guy's crazy. He like, I think he creates like custom animations where he gets help to create them or I don't know, but my God, I mean, it's like, it's incredible. If you have not seen it before, Bella Goth Reborn, I'll link it down in the description below for you guys to watch. It's outstanding. If you've watched his stuff, like drop a comment, and let me know down below because I was like blown away when I first watched it. I was like, what the heck is this? And it was incredible. And it kind of like re, it gave me like early Sims vibes. And it just, I don't know, reminded me so much of my childhood. And 
I just loved it. And from that point, you know, like a few months ago when I saw it, I was like, I really want to do the goth house. I really want to redo it, but I want to, um, you know, I want to wait until maybe a little bit closer to Halloween because, you know, the goth family is kind of like the, um, they kind of have like a little bit of an Adams family vibe. They didn't really so much in like Sims one or two really, um, I, I don't know about Sims 3 because I never played Sims 3, but um, they do in this game. Like in this game, they got a bit of like an Adams family vibe going on. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I actually, I gave them a little makeover too. I gave them a custom content makeover and I will have them up on my Patreon too. Um, probably not when this video goes up on my channel, just because I found out that you can't upload <laughs> the file size that I want to upload for those Sims up on, um, Patreon. So I got to wait to get a Sims file share account. So once I get that, I'll go ahead and put them up here, but I will pop up some pictures so you guys can see what they look like. And I think they came out great. Like when I got done with Mortimer, I was like, dang, Mortimer's looking good. <laughs> Mortimer is looking real good. <laughs> like, he looks great. Um, and I didn't change any of their facial features either. Um, I just basically just applied like, you know, different skin overlays and different skin details. And, you know, obviously gave them like different hair and facial hair and eyebrows and stuff like that. But yeah, I did it off. Not the latest, um, not the latest goth like revamp. Cause I know they recently got a revamp. I did this on like the original one that we got with The Sims 4. Um, and I did that because, I don't know, I liked that Bella a little bit better, that base Bella a little better. Um, although I did make her skin a little bit more like accurate to how she looks in all the other games. You know, I gave her a deeper skin tone and stuff like that. But yeah, so they'll be up on there um, for you guys to download. But anywho, um, getting back and talking about, you know, the actual build itself, <laughs> I've been really just, I've been flapping my gums talking about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but um, so you would have seen me obviously do the entire exterior, except I don't do the, the back portion of this home until a little bit later. Um, actually, it should be coming up pretty soon here. But I did the entry area. Um, I also did obviously the living room and I'm doing now this like study area. And, you know, you can see, obviously, I'm carrying through a pretty distinct color scheme of blacks, whites, and red. Because that's a color scheme that I generally think of when I think of the goths. Um, I can't really remember what their original house looks that... Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't remember what their house looks like exactly in The Sims 1. Um, but I want to say they had, like, kind of like a diamond pattern floor so I carried through like diamond patterns quite a bit in this home because I don't know it just it just spoke goth to me <laughs> and the overall like um kind of feel that I want it going through this house besides obviously goth seriously take a shot for every time I say goth in this video um <laughs> was I kind of want it like a little bit of like a kitschy kind of thing going on so like in the living room, for example, like I just kind of mixed in like a few pieces that felt like slightly more modern here and there. I just, I didn't want to feel too, too stuffy, um, which, you know, if you're doing like a goth kind of style home, you expect the interior to be like kind of stuffy, kind of, you know, really super duper traditional. And there are a lot of traditional elements to this home, but I definitely want to mix in a good dose of like you know, kind of like surprising, kind of modern-y kind of thing going on. Um, I think my favorite room, just for, you know, anybody who cares to know what my favorite room was, um, my favorite room was definitely the living room, and then I also really love the way Cassandra's room comes out. I love her room. Um, when I did her custom content makeover, which you would have probably seen in the pictures that I just popped up a little while ago in this video, but... When I did her makeover, I kind of made her look a little bit like Wednesday Adams. 
And um, uh, quite honestly, I haven't even seen Wednesday on Netflix. I haven't watched it. It's like on my to-do list of, of things to watch, which I feel like is like a never ending list. Like I always have new shows that I need to watch because like friends are telling me I need to watch it or just whatever. I just, I, I have lists of shows that I need to watch and that's one of them. But I love her look, you know, I've seen like, you know, obviously Wednesday Adam stuff has been all over TikTok and you know whatever but anyway I I was like I'm gonna make Cassandra kind of look like Wednesday because you know again going back to the Adams family kind of thing so I made her room really cool you'll see it it's I think it came out really cool and then as far as the custom content that I use so the other build that I did where I didn't limit myself on custom content is my French Chateau and that is probably still, even after this build, that's still probably my favorite custom content build that I've done to date on my channel so far. Granted, I got a little baby channel, so <laughs> I haven't done a ton of builds on my channel thus far, but you know, I'm just a little baby. I'm just starting out, but <laughs> that's my favorite so far is the Chateau. And that has been my most popular custom content um, build too both in downloads off the gallery and also YouTube views. I've gotten such a great response on that video. So I can't really remember why I was going back to talking about that. Oh yeah, for my custom content. So yeah, like I said, I didn't really limit myself too much on this, but I was kind of keeping a little bit more of a backlog in the back of my head while I was doing this. Um, if you're new to custom content and you know, being like me and like just going on like mass shopping sprees where you just pick up like tons and tons of different collections and then you open your game and you like start to build and you're like oh my god what have I done <laughs> what is all this stuff I have no idea where anything is I don't know what <laughs> what collection belongs to what it's just a disaster but since I've been doing more custom content especially that chateau I'm starting to become more accustomed with the different collections. So with this one, I was sort of able to kind of pare down my items a little bit more. I'm not gonna say a lot more, but a little bit more. I was able to kind of rein it in maybe slightly more. And I was trying not to use like one item from one collection. Although when I just finished up my CC list, I think I did have a couple. <laughs> I think I did have a couple items where I just used like one item. like I off the top of my head, I remember I used like one plant from Felix's uh, Kyoto collection. And I was like, why, Aaron, gosh, darn it. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Cause I, I know, I know it's annoying to like go through and like download all this custom content. I'm hoping a lot of people that watch me just already have a lot of these collections. Cause I'm not really using like obscure creators. I'm using really popular creators on, you know, CurseForge, which I mean, from what I've understood is a popular platform to, uh, to download uh, custom content. But yeah, I tried to just use, you know, the best of the best. I, you know, I used Charlie Pancakes and um, Peacemaker and, you know, Harry and Felix and Pierre Sim and Cluttercat. Cluttercat's a new one that I just started really using. Um, that was, again, Boana, because I've been getting all sorts of advice from Boana. She's awesome. Um, and she was like, yeah, get Cluttercat. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I haven't checked her out yet. And then I got it. And I was like, what the heck? Why haven't I been using this the whole time? Like, Cluttercat's incredible. She literally has, like, the best clutter and just the best items in general. Like, they're so versatile. So yeah, you'll see a lot of clutter cat with this build and I would imagine with many, many of my builds going forward. So yeah, I used, you know, obviously there's a lot of Felix, you know, Felix is one that if I'm doing this style of a house, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be using Felix cause he just has the best kind of like, you know, European kind of, you know, more intricate architectural details going on, but I've been thinking, I've been really wanting to do um, like a more modern house. I'm a really big fan of like mid-century modern design. Um, so I've been thinking, I don't know when I'm gonna do it cause I have like in my head, I have like this whole like backlog ideas of things that I wanna do. 
and I really want to do kind of like a mid-century house and I want to use a lot of Peacemaker because I haven't really used a lot of his stuff yet on my builds on this channel. I've just used like odds and ends here and there. But Peacemaker, his collections tend to be a little bit more modern, which I love. So I think I want to do something a little bit more modern, but I'm just not sure when I'm going to release it because, you know, right now it's, you know, it's winter and most and, you know, a good amount of the world. So, you know, it's kind of cozy stuff that we want to do and uh, or, you know, that I want to do. I should say, um, or that I guess the community wants to see, because you definitely see like a trend when you look on YouTube and on Instagram, like, you know, all the builders and everybody's doing like fall cozy things and soon it'll be winter cozy things. And I already have an idea in my head of some of the stuff I'm going to do around winter time. Um, I'm definitely in my like kind of like recreation series. I'm going to be doing Kevin McAllister's house from Home Alone. And I'm not going to use any custom content for that. I already know. No custom content for that one. I'm really excited to do the Home Alone house. And then I'm going to do a cabin also, like a little Christmas cabin, where I'm going to use a lot of items from Max 20 and also from Clutter Cat. Um, and then I think I might do like a non-CC, like, you know, family home with, you know, like... Uh, Christmassy items and stuff like that because we definitely have a lot of really good Christmassy items just in game with like seasons um, we got a lot of really good items so yeah that's what I have planned like going into winter time but I am kind of like drawing a blank as far as what I'm gonna do um, kind of like for the remainder of November and stuff because November is kind of a weird month it's kind of like a weird like layover month I mean, here in the U.S. we have, like, Thanksgiving, so it's still obviously, like, you know, kind of very festive. You know, I don't know how it is in other parts of the world, how November is, but, you know, here it's, like, Thanksgiving. But, you know, it's not really, like, spooky builds too much, but I don't know. I still might do some spooky builds. I have no idea. I think next thing I have going on, I haven't even started on it. Um, I really want to do a New York brownstone and I am going to use custom content for it just because you know Harry has a brownstone collection that I've been dying to use and I'm dying to do something a little bit more modern not that I don't love like a more kind of like traditional design kind of like this although I consider this design that I'm doing like in this house and also in my chateau house I kind of consider that more like transitional not really modern but yeah Anyway, <laughs> I'm just I'm just going on about I don't even know what, but getting back to what I'm doing. <laughs> so you would have just seen I finished up the dining room, the kitchen, and then also um, Bella and Mortimer's room. And, you know, I obviously I, I love how that all came out. You know, it's just I, I didn't get sick of the red, <laughs> black and white theme that I had going on. Um, I hope you guys didn't either. Um, but here in... Uh, Cassandra's room I did kind of break it up a little bit and I just did white and black um, with obviously some you know greenery here and there from the plants that I use pretty sparingly I didn't use too many plants but I love the way that her room came out it's so cool um, that tile that you see on the um, the backsplash behind the fireplace and also on the floor like near the hearth of the fireplace I think that's what you call that area I think it's a hearth um, those are from Ravishing, and then those cool, like, kind of, like, spooky paintings that I put above her bed, those are also from Ravishing, and the, uh, bedding that's from 6am, the bed itself is also from 6am, so I used a lot of, like, different kind of collections that I haven't used in my other custom content builds. I love Ravishing, I mainly love her for her mods, like, I use them all the time in my gameplay, um, but her actual custom content's really good, too. Like, I love that tile pack that she has, the one that I'll link down below. It's, like, really versatile, and I was trying to find one from, like, Felix or Harry or any of the other creators that I was already using, but I just couldn't find anything that was kind of giving me that more, like, fun, youthful vibe. So I did use the one from Ravishing, and it's really, really good. She's awesome. I, I literally, there's some mods that she's created that I just like, I have to use in my game. They're so great. But now we are on the final room and I can say that with like 
definite confidence this is the final room because I'm I'm getting better I'm starting to remember my flow a little bit better in my videos but this is um oh my god what's that kid's name <laughs> is his name Alec I want to say it's Alexander <laughs> is that his name oh my god I'm so bad <laughs> when I do these voiceovers I swear it's like my mind just goes blank sometimes but I'm doing the kids room <laughs> The goth kid. I'm doing his room. <laughs> but this one turns out really good too. I love it. I kind of gave it like a slight like astrological vibe. And I also didn't use the red, black, and white in that room either. So that's kind of a nice little palette cleanser there too. But we are now at the end of the video and the pictures should all be rolling. But I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I love chatting with you guys in the comments and it's just, it makes my day when you guys drop me a comment. So I'd really, really appreciate that. And again, if you want to download it, it will be up on my gallery, which, you know, you'll find all that detailed down in the description, or I do have tray files linked on my Patreon. But I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.